This is the VEX VR Find Your Age Level 3, uh, Video 2. So where we left off was we were at the number 10, we moved forward 3, turned uh, left 90 degrees, and moved forward 9 to get us to this 31. Now, what we can do is use the programs we've already used. So again, I'm just going to disconnect some things and move some things around. And what I want is this function right here of drawing. So meaning what we're using that pen function for, because it's a repeat. Now I know this seems uh, like a lot of code and there is going to be an easier way to do this later on. Uh, and I'll show you how to create your own function that we can just paste in so it doesn't get as long as this. But for now, we're going to change that pen color to uh, blue, as I can see there in my pseudocode, which I have an extra copy of here. So now what's going to happen is we're at this point where we're at the 31. We have drawn our little box around there. And what we have to do is move away from this. So as you can see, my robot here, uh, I don't, I'm at the point here, so instead of turning left like I did in the previous one, I want to make this turn right. And in the next line, I want to get up to my uh, year I was born, which was in 1949. So I've moved that pen up, and again, I'm just going to repeat some of the same structure that I've already created. Instead of copying and pasting it, I'll just show you how we formed that again. So I'm going to do a repeat. I'm going to do my drive forward, and to get to that line, I need uh, two. Then I'm going to turn right 90 degrees. Again, I'm going to grab that repeat structure. Uh, I'm going to drive forward again. And this time, uh, I'm going to repeat it eight times. Now again, that same draw function that I've used before, we can see it here where I set uh, the pen's color. I'm just gonna duplicate that, create another one, grab my code in, and place it here. I know this last one needs to be highlighted in green. So I'm gonna go to green. Uh, and honestly, I would not need turning right and moving the pen up at this point because I'm done, but we can leave that there because it causes no harm. So now you're going to see I'm going to run this program. We're going to travel to that uh, 10. It's going to draw that uh, square around the number with the marker. Now, as we can see this program running, I'm going to show you how long this program really is. And we can see uh, it is a lot of coding and it's all sequential. But what we're really going to want to take a look at is, is there a way to limit the amount of coding on this? And in actuality, there is. We can come up and create our own blocks and create a block for a function uh, to put the marker up and down, that block that I've copied and repasted multiple times. So in the uh, next video, which will be an advanced tips and tricks one, we will see. Uh, one of the other things we might want to do on this is move our robot one square ahead so we can actually see that marker uh, that was placed on that.